Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new parent backpack by Lululemon. It's their diaper bag. So some of you may have seen that I created a video a long time ago called, I think it was like Lululemon versus Bay's backpack. And I have a full review on that that I'll link before, but honestly, before, below, but honestly, it's old news. I bought both about 11 months ago and I was gonna see which one I was gonna keep and which one I was gonna return and I settled on the Bay's bag. However, here I am 11 months later and I have the Lululemon bag and I'm gonna talk in this video about what led me to purchase it a week ago, what I think, why I think this bag will be better and why I ditched the Bay's bag. And if you wanna see my updated video on the Bay's bag, I'll go ahead and link it be below it's my 11 month review of the Bay's bag, how it held up through travel. And I don't want to knock on the Bay's bag. The Bay's bag is amazing. There are just a couple little things about it that for my lifestyle aren't good anymore. But if you're someone who exclusively pumps, if you're someone that um, carries a lot of stuff with you, you might actually want that bag. So go ahead and watch that. I'll link it below. But anyway, if you're more curious about the Lululemon bag, this review is for you. All right, let's get started. Oh, I am going to be putting chapters because this video could be long and I know people just want to cut to the chase. But anyway, let's get started. Here it is, the Lululemon bag. I'm, I'm thrilled. I can't wait to use this bag. I have been thinking, I've been thinking about it for a month and I was like, no, I don't need another diaper bag. I got rid of that one. I can't believe it. Here I am with it. I'm, I'm excited though. It's an expensive bag, but I'm thinking this is the bag that's worth it for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and dive in and give a full view of what it looks like, how it comes, all that kind of stuff. So starting with this front pocket. The Lululemon things, uh, zippers I noticed are a little tough compared to the Bay's bag, but it feels pretty sturdy. It feels easy to wipe down. It feels um, very light which I like, but in this first pocket, there is a little mesh area for you to keep things. I don't know how I'll organize this bag. I kind of feel like this will become like snacks um, because you are always grabbing those very quickly. So I could see like little snack pouches, little snack bags, um, bibs, like things like that in this pocket. I could just see that. Yeah, then on top, there is a secret little pocket and this pocket is for mom. This pocket is going to be where I put my wallet. This is going to be where I probably put my phone if it fits in there. I'm assuming it does. It's very big. It's going to be where I'm blind. So I always carry contacts with me in case one escapes. That will be in here. I'm also a motion sickness person. It's so amazing. I will probably keep Dramamine in here. Just little things for mom, chapstick, all that kind of stuff. This is mom's pocket. But yeah, it's, it's not, it's not the whole top, which is interesting. It feels like it's just a little rectangle, like here, like you can almost kind of see the outline. So it's a little, it's a little rectangle of stuff, but just enough for like little things for mom. Now looking at the back of the bag, this is what I'm so excited about because it seems like something so little but I hated it on the base bag, is the base bag straps are terrible. Like I lost it in the first month, one of them. And it's because they just do not stay on your diaper bag. I'm sorry, they don't stay on your stroller, they just come off. And so I'm so happy that these are built in. Look how quick that is, especially like when you're going through security at the airport and you're like, oh, I'm gonna quickly take it off my stroller and put it on, boom. That was it, no fumbling, no looping, all that kind of stuff. They thought of it, that's great. Also, I freaking love the holes right here. If you traveled with a baby, carabiners are your friend. You need to quickly link something onto you, they have holes for it. You need to link something to your stroller, boom. You need to hook the boppy and it's carrying bag on the stroller, boom. Carabiners, there's carabiner spots, that's great. Or if you have like those little like rubber things to hold toys, I'll link it in the description below. I'll, I'll call them like baby toy holders or whatever. 
you can link it through here. So you could hook something to the bag that you don't want to lose really quick, but that's great. It all also has the trolley passage. I don't use that a lot. I typically am someone who wears my diaper bag or I hook it to my stroller, but if you're somebody who does this, that's great. Also, if you don't have a baby, that's great too, because then you can use it. That's what's so great about this bag is it is actually a nice backpack if you were just looking for a backpack. Doesn't scream diaper bag, but yeah. Oh, something I missed on the front. And this is something I reviewed in my other review, because in the other review that I made, I stuffed, I stuffed the bag, show what it's like if you're somebody who pumps to bring all that stuff. I, at the time I was exclusively pumping, but at five months I transitioned to exclusively breastfeeding. So I no longer traveled with my pumps. If you're interested in my breastfeeding journey and the struggles and things and how I taught my daughter to breastfeed at five months after never doing it before, I'm gonna link my, I'll link the video in the description. But anyway, when I had the pumps and stuff in here or tons of things in this bag, and I use these cup holders, they eat into the bag. They actually, when you put something in the bag, instead of going out, instead of going out they come in. So it makes this, the area in the bag smaller. So that's kind of a con to this bag. That's why I don't feel like it's as good if you carry a lot of stuff. There is a potential risk you won't fit everything in the bag and have to travel with another bag. And I like to travel efficiently. I don't like to have a bunch of bags. But since I'm not carrying that stuff anymore, I feel like a slightly smaller bag is better for me at this point. But anyway, it has these big, big cup holder areas and it does fit a, I would say 35, 40 ounce like tumbler bottle, the like hydro flasks, not the Stanley. I, I can go grab my Stanley, but I don't see it fitting in here. We'll take, we'll take a thing, but I really don't think it's gonna fit in there. Oh, no way. Stanley, Stanley fits in the bag. That's huge. But you can see it does eat into the bag. Like, I don't know how we feel about that, but if you're in a pinch and you put Stanley somewhere, it fits. All right, diving into the inside of the bag. So what first bothered me about this bag is that I kind of felt like it looked like a little trash can, like the top. And so that turned me off to it the first time, but now I get it. So you want to be able to get to every crevice of your diaper bag, every crevice. And so I understand why the top is so big because you're like, I need to get everywhere in the bag, just open the whole thing. And I love that now about the bag, aesthetically, like how it looks, it screams like trash can to me, but I'm not bothered anymore. <laughs> Inside the bag, it actually comes with a second bag. So you get two for the price of one with this bag. And, bef and before I dive into this bag, I will show the inside of this bag. A lot of people love that the Lululemon bags have some little message here and it says, what do you need today? And what do you need is all your baby stuff. It's in this bag. But it has a laptop area. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It fits in this sleeve. So if you have anything smaller than that, it will fit in here. It probably makes the bag really heavy, but it does fit. It also has this large compartment for you to put other little things, toys, I could see that, other outfits, just stuff to keep you organized. There's tons of pockets in this bag. So there's one around the whole side. So this back part is a big, just open area. Sorry, open one, there's not a divide in it, but these are all sectioned off into like small containers. So you could do like the Gerber snacks, maybe your baby sippy cup, other little things in there. Maybe you use one for little medical stuff like the baby Tylenol, I don't know. You could just get creative how you pack your bag. And then there's this whole other middle area for you to keep stuff. Looking at this bag, I actually think I could fit my carrier in it. I'm curious to go and get it. We can go and see. Okay, I'm back. I've got my carrier. I fold it up like this. If you guys have this carrier, I can't ever say it right. I wanna say it's like 
Artie Pope or something, but you fold it up like how it came really small. It's kind of not pretty right now, but I just quickly did it. But I think I can just totally fit this in the bag, very small in it. Yeah, that, that's great. And I could fit it in the base bag too, but that bag's jumbo. But knowing that I can actually fit this in the bottom of the bag or something, if I may need it, or I could probably, I definitely can fit it in the top if I want to lay it on top of stuff, but that's great. Fits in there. Yeah, I think that's it for this part of the bag. It has the front pocket, has all these inside pockets, the laptop area, has the mom area, has the stroller straps, all that good stuff. It feels ex really high quality. Oh, let me put it on. I'm about 5'2". There we go. It feels comfortable on. These parts seem a little small to me. Like, I wonder how it would hold up if the bag was really heavy. I haven't seen anybody complain online. Oh, and then it has these things to hold, like if you need to tighten the bag. But I'll, I can give an update again if people are curious after a few months of travel. I travel almost every month and my base bag has held up through that and it's been great. I'm just ready, I think, for something else for this like next chapter. But yeah, I'm very excited to try out this bag. Something I wanna just quickly add, I know this is not a comparison video, but I just wanna show it side by side is the Bays bag next to the Lululemon bag for people who are kind of deciding between the two. I urge you to watch my updated Bays video. I'll link that in the description below if you're interested in that bag, but here is the size comparison. So this is the Bays bag. This is the Lululemon bag. The Bays bag is way bigger for sure, side by side. The base bag is bigger. It's hard to tell because it's not full, but the base bag is bigger. But I feel like the Lululemon bag is easier, more accessible to get to things. If you're curious, if you're someone who exclusively pumps, definitely check out my first version of my review between the Lululemon and the base bag. It's dated. It's not stuff I carry nowadays. But if you're curious, if you're like, how do my LVs fit? How do whatever fit in the bag? You might wanna watch the video. I don't think you could get everything in this bag, but again, I could be wrong, but I'll link it in the description below. Anyway, now diving into the crossbody bag that it comes with. Ooh, I'm really excited about this. So on the base bag, I used the um, fanny pack attachment, but this is gonna be my diapering. I don't like having diapering in the main diaper bag because a lot of the time you just wanna grab the diapering part, especially like if you're changing your baby on an airplane, you're just wanting this. You don't wanna to go to the bathroom with a whole diaper bag. You wanna be going with just like the essentials and you want something that you can do essentially hands-free or with one hand. You don't wanna be holding the diaper and the wipes and the baby and like going down the aisle like, no. This is gonna be great for that. This is also great, I think, if you were just gonna like run out like to Target or something or whatever and you just wanna put a couple of things in it, that's great. I normally use my caddy or I have a caddy in my car. And so I don't even really go out with something. If I like, I'll throw a couple things in the stroller, but this is great. I'm really excited to have this. I think I'll utilize just even this bag a lot. So yeah, diving into the bag, there's this front pocket and this is a nice big area. It feels like you could probably put I would probably put um, the wipes in here, keep the wipes separate from the diapers. Um, that way it's like easier to just slide the wipes back, but who knows how I'll organize this, but it's a very big pocket, it's a lot of room. You could even keep this as like, this is mom's pocket and then the baby's diaper changing and it's in this main pocket. Because again, you share a bag with the baby, you're not going out with like a ton of bags. So that's this, this next area. Ooh, it comes with a changing pad. Let me look. I like that it has like this to easily close it up and keep it organized. This is really nice and big. This is actually a really good size. Like, I definitely think my daughter could fit on there. She is about average in height. She's 11 months, she definitely could lay on this. So. I know that doesn't really give you a size range, but no, the average percentile for an 11 month old is that's what she is. And so 
um, she would definitely fit on this. Then easily closes up, closes, and then it's got this beautiful just like the Lululemon. I don't know if you can see that like subtly on there. I really like that. But it feels good quality. It's nice and padded. It feels like it would wipe down easy. Um, she would be very comfortable on it. Now going into the bag, again, has the little phrase everybody talks about, but it says, change is the only constant. And yes, it is true. You change your baby constantly. This, this pocket to me is a little, um, it could be tighter. It kind of feels like it's just flopping around in there, but I guess it's good to keep you organized if you want to just like section things off, but it's really big. This is a lot of room. Like I'm used to actually using something even just smaller, like a little fanny pack for a couple things. So this is a lot. You could actually go out for a long time with this. It's great. Very excited about it. And then let's see how easily this goes back in. I think we should do the full test because you'll be a lot of times holding the baby since they're not laying on the pad. Let's see, open this up a little bit. Okay, so you got your, 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 got your baby. You're putting it in. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. That means you can, and then you'll probably like hold the thing while you close it, but you can get it in while holding the baby, which is big because once you pick the, the pad off the changing table, you don't want to lay the baby somewhere because you don't want them to get nasty. So you got to do that one-handed. So it's easy enough to get in the bag. But overall, I'm really impressed. I'm very excited to use this bag. The only thing that I could see is, let's see, I guess it, let's pretend like that's in there. Let me throw my carrier in there. Oh no, oh no, both easily fit in there. That bag is still in the bottom and there's still room. There's a ton of room in this bag. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm very happy about it. But if anybody has any questions or they want to see a very specific feature or you want me to know how I feel after I've flown with it, I fly all the time, I travel all the time, please put a comment in the comment section below. If it's something small, I can even create just like a small TikTok video or Instagram reel for you to just see that thing. If it's a lot of stuff, maybe I'll do a full review on it, but I'll link all my socials and stuff um, below. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. Again, I mentioned my breastfeeding journey was interesting. If you're curious about that, I'm linking it in the description below, but I hope this video was helpful. If you aren't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!